Hey, what's going on, fam? So first of all, I know it's been a minute, but, you know, I do have a life. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I am a regular black person. I do have to go get up and go to work every morning, like pretty much probably everyone who's listening to my video does. I'm not like some of these figureheads, um, both Tariq Nasheed and Yvette Antone, where I don't really work and I can just sit up here and and act and be an activist all the time. You know, I have to get up and, and go uh, pay the bills. So that's number one. Um, you know, I've been handling that, obviously, uh, my job, but also um, just I have a life. I have a spouse, you know, and I've been trying to make sure I spend a little bit more time with her. So different things like that. Um, I just been busy, just life. And plus, I've been taking a break because this work gets draining. Uh, this work fighting for black people um, requires a lot of fighting against black people because black people don't get it. And black people um have white su have white supremacists inside of them like all black people pretty much have a little white supremacist inside of them so whenever you're trying to get black people to free themselves from white supremacy um, always the first person you have to fight is other black people um, that's almost always that's the way it's always been even during slave plantations i mean not slave plantation but soaring slave days on slave plantations that's why the haitians were the only people who had a successful slave rebellion because they were the only people who got rid of the coons first. What we didn't do here in America is we didn't we didn't realize that we needed to get rid of the coons first. We never did that. Um, and the Haitians did, which is why they had the only successful slave rebellion. Um, and also every almost every slave rebellion in history, especially those that were trying to happen in America, were thwart were thwart were thwarted by coons um, or sambos or whatever you want to call them, race traders. So. For that reason, uh, obviously, this work can get draining because fighting for black people, like I said, requires a lot of fighting against black people because they are a lot of times the number one uh, adversary to you trying to fight for them when you're telling them, hey, what we've been doing doesn't make sense. Um, they're always eager to say, no, what we've been doing makes sense. And, and it obviously hasn't because that's why we're under a system of white supremacy. Um, but I digress, fam. So that's why I've been taking a, uh, you know, I've been taking a break. So just life and the fact that I just needed some time on top of that. Um, but I'm back now. But even though I'm back, I'm already drained thinking about making this video. Uh, because this video that I'm going to make, the content is the reason why I make constructive discourse videos. Because... I had a Twitter exchange today where I had to go back and forth for like four or five different members of the ADOS political suicide organization. And I'm already drained because a lot of the things that they were saying I've already dealt with in previous videos. Um, and I was having a lot, I basically say a lot of the things I've already said in videos. Plus, I couldn't really get the message across as clear as I can in my videos because you have a character limit on Twitter. So it's draining going back and forth with these people. And I'm not going to really engage in this too much longer because I'm really trying to wrap up my talking about this, the suicide down ballot strategy. I really am. Um, but because I had this exchange, I'm going to use some of the content to make another video just to show the confusion that comes out of the ADOS movement and the double talk. And I'm going to use these people's tweets. Now you guys see the tweets that are up on this on the screen as the screen cap. Now, as I've already said, I'm kind of drained, so I'm probably not going to use every screen screen cap that I'm going to read from, or the screen cap of every tweet that I'm going to use in this video, because I really don't have the energy. Because that takes those of you who may know what it takes to make a YouTube video, that takes a lot of work to. Um, sit up there and put all the screen caps together and make them line up with the video and then put that out as a video that takes a lot of energy and i'm don't really feel like doing that right now so i'm kind of going to be lazy and just use one screen cap for the whole video essay however because i am only using one screen cap i'm also going to put a link in the description box to my twitter account so if anyone wants to say um, that I 
misrepresented one of the tweets I read or I didn't read the whole tweet or whatever, you can go to my Twitter page, either at me or DM me, ask me for proof of the tweet that you feel like I didn't really read or I misread, and I'll send it to you. I have screen caps of pretty much everything that I'm going to read for the purposes of this video. I already have screen caps, so if anyone wants to um, check my sources, uh, go ahead and go to the link in the description box, which will be, which will be to my Twitter, and, I, and contact me, and I will send you or produce the screenshots that you need if you feel like you need them but i just simply don't have the energy to put them in this video so i'm not um i'm just gonna read the tweets and respond to them and i'm only going to use this original tweet that kind of started this conversation um as the screen cap so as you see there's a tweet between two people a uh, brother named bill Dix and a sister named i am friday jones our brother named Bill Dixon, his handle is Bill Dixon, and then there's some numbers, but, um, and then the sister, I am Friday Jones, who's a member of the ADOS Political Suicide Organization. Again, this is the only screen cap I'm going to use, however, I'm going to be reading several other tweets that you won't see, but like I said, if you want the screen cap proof of the tweet that I read, I'll send it to you, so if people want to say, oh, somebody in ADOS, or somebody who's defending ADOS didn't say that, or some one of the person's tweets who I read says, oh, I didn't say that. I'll have screenshots. So there's no dispute. Um, also, one last thing, fam. This is kind of going to be all over the place. Because what this was, was it was Twitter. So it was kind of chaotic. So as you know, there's different ways to reply on Twitter. You can quote people's tweets. You can just reply. There's so many different ways to respond to, twi on, to people on Twitter. Plus... Um, there was more than one person involved in the conversation, so it wasn't a straight, linear, back-and-forth thread. There were, like, four or five different dudes and, and females or whatever, or mostly men, but one female, and that's the sister I am, Friday Jones, um, showing up in the conversation and putting in their two, two cents. So I was responding, like, three or four different people at different times. So for that reason, um, these tweets are gonna, gonna kind of be all over the place. It's not gonna be in a straight are the tweets that I'm going to be reading. They're kind of going to be all over the place. There's not going to be a straight linear conversation um, to read from and talk about, all right? There's not going to be a straight back and forth between two people. So I'm going to be reading different tweets. Um, they may not necessarily be in, in sequence with each other, um, especially because the down ballot or the suicide down ballot ADOS organization um, is also extremely confused, so they're all over the place about their own strategy, offering six and seven different reasons for their strategy um, that all contradict each other. So for that reason, don't be surprised if you kind of feel like this is all over the place and it's not as or or this conversation or this essay is all over the place. What I'm going to be doing, basically, long story short, is reading different tweets, whether they're necessarily part of the same conversation or not and responding to them because the tweets that I choose show the confusion that comes out of the ADOS movement. So I'm going to be reading some of these tweets and I'm going to be responding and talking about them. But again, just because I read the tweets doesn't mean that they all came in consecutive order. I just, I just want to be clear about the context so no one can say that I was intentionally misrepresenting something. Yes, the stuff may be out of order or they may be from different people. And I'm going to clarify when it is from different people. But again, that's just because I was having exchanges with like five or six different people. And plus there were quoted tweets and everything else, which messes up the linear, um, the the linear, I don't know what to call it. I want to say the linearness, but whatever it is, the, 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 um, it, it, it messes up the structure of the conversation especially when you're trying to verbalize. <coughs> mm. Excuse me for the cough, fam. But anyway, fam, without further ado, I just spent 10 minutes explaining, so let's go ahead and get into the video. Um, as you guys see up on your screen, it's a, a tweet from a sister named Friday Jones, and she says, you have, and she's responding to the brother, 
uh, Bill Dixon, who's saying vote down ballot is insane. And he's and she says, you have never seen me using a vote blue hashtag. This is not football. If people opt to not vote, that is their choice. But there is too much on the Los Angeles ballot to not show up. Now, I asked the sister and I never got an answer um, still to this day as I'm making this video. What is on the Los Angeles ballot that's happening? What's happening on what's too much on the ballot to not show up? She says there is too much on the Los Angeles ballot to not show up. What? Since you said there's too much, sister, you should be able to name like four things that's on the ballot. That's too much to not show up. And I asked her with a with a specific um, requirement. I said, sister, please tell me what of this too much that's on the Los Angeles ballot has anything to do with a black agenda i got no response because i know the answer none of it has anything to do with a black agenda and again this is the danger of what i've been saying about the democrat down ballot sheepdog operation this is the same logic that can have us voting just for our own interest we're not voting for our own personal interest if that's the case i'm justified in voting for obama in 2008 because I needed health insurance. And he was doing the health Affordable Health Care Act. And you can't tell me it's different because it's the president versus the local level. Because if the logic is voting for what personally benefits you, what is the purpose of demanding a black agenda? If Because every election we can find one or two policies that benefit my personal individual situation. What about the black agenda? That's what the ADOS movement started off pretending to be about is a black agenda. But then when you ask them what they're voting for at the local level, they they keep telling you these personal customized reasons. Oh, I'm voting for who I like. Oh, I'm voting for what's important to me. No, dude, that's not what we're supposed to be voting for. That's not the square we're supposed to be standing on. If that's the case, then we what's the point of demanding a black agenda? Just get what you can get and vote for what matters to you and what's important to you and what affects you. No, we said that we are only voting for a black agenda. A vet and tone said that. That's why they used to say, I remember, I used to listen to these people's videos before they went left. I heard a vet Antone sit up here and talk about, especially a vet say, yes, these other policies are nice. But you can't give Medicare for all and student loan forgiveness until you first pay back the descendants of slaves. That's what a vet said. That's what I was listening to her for. That's what I was agreeing with her about. So why now all of a sudden are we talking about what personally interests us. That's why this sister can't tell me. And I bet you if she ever if she ends up listening to this video, she still won't be able to tell me what it of this too much on the ballot has anything to do with a black agenda. She's only going to be able to tell me what personally benefits her and what personally interests her. She won't be able to point out one thing. That's about a black agenda, not one ballot initiative, not one candidate that's about a, ba a black agenda. That's too much for her to not vote for. And again, I'll reiterate, Yvette said when talking about things like student loan forgiveness, which can affect me because I have student loans. Which can affect me personally, which Bernie is pushing. And all of this stuff, our, our, and Elizabeth Warren, these kind of things that they're pushing, and and Mayor Pete. They're coming up with policies that personally affect me. So why not vote for them? So you see, this is why I'm saying there's double talk. Because on one hand, on the local level, you're telling me to vote for policies that personally affect me. And withholding my vote is so stupid. So wait, why isn't withholding my vote from the president also stupid? Because y'all are advertising withholding your vote from the president. The president can come up with policies that personally affect you. So what's the difference? What's the difference? Obamacare personally affected me. 
So what's the difference between what? Why is it less stupid to not vote for the president than it is to not vote for local candidates? Why is it all of a sudden more stupid to not vote for your local candidates when the president can come up with policies that personally affect you just as much as a local candidate can? Why is it all of a sudden stupid to not vote for local candidates, but it's not stupid and it's somehow smart to leave the least impactful vote, the president that's voted for by the Electoral College? Why is that smart to leave that blank? And, and be no black agenda, no vote, only for the presidency. How is that smart when the presidential policies can affect you as well? This is why I'm talking about the double talk. Because on one hand, they're trying to seem like they are standing on the square of a black agenda by withholding the least impactful vote, the presidency, that you don't even vote for. That's how a president can lose the, the popular vote and still win the election. He lost the vote of the people, but still won the election. What else tells you that the president's vote, um, that your vote doesn't matter if the man who lost the vote of the people can still win the presidency? But I digress. Somebody tell me, how how is it less stupid to leave, because y'all are telling us, no black agenda, no vote people. We're so foolish and we're so retarded for not voting for local candidates. Why is it less retarded to not vote for the president? When he can come up with policies that hurt you, that can affect you as well. I can let me go ahead and answer the question because I know they can't. You know why it's less retarded to not vote for the president? Because you have to be able to do something to make it seem like you're still about a black agenda while implementing this democratic sheepdog shill operation. So that's why you have this little caveat, this little back door where you can say, well, see, we're still about a black agenda because we're not voting for the president, but not voting for anyone else is stupid. Even though it would be smarter to, to vote for the president and leave the rest of the ballot blank because the, your vote may not even go towards the president. If you live in a red state and you vote blue, your vote is going towards the red candidate anyway. If you live in a blue state and you vote red, your vote is still going towards the blue candidate any damn way. So if you're going to leverage your vote by withholding it, it would be smarter to go ahead and vote for the, the for the position that your your personal um, vote may not even go towards and leave the rest of the ballot blank. Rather than leaving the only spot that may not even count anyway blank and voting for down ballot for people who don't have a black agenda. Because supposedly the reason for leaving the, the presidency blank is if they don't have a black agenda, we not voting for them. But you may not be voting for them anyway. Let's say they did have a black agenda. Let's say Bernie Sanders had a black agenda, hypothetically. If you live in a red state, your vote went towards Trump anyway. So what is this you're holding someone accountable for for not having a black agenda when you not voting is not hurting them? Because if you had voted, your vote may not have gone towards the person that you wanted it to go to anyway. Yet and still somehow leaving the top of the, the ballot blank is smart. But not voting for local candidates who don't have a black agenda. Oh, that's just so stupid. How can you be so retarded? You don't want to understand. You not understanding on purpose. But I digress, fam, because I have a whole lot more tweets. And this is going to be a long video, fam. But it's been a while since I've uh, dropped a video. So, you know, hey, it is what it is. But this is going to be a long video because I have so much to say and talk about in this video. So be prepared. This might be an hour plus um but anyway fam that's really all i have to say about the the i am friday jones sister sister please tell me what of this too much in the local los angeles ballot is too much for for you to not show up and if everything you're going to say has nothing to do with a black agenda why not just go ahead and vote 
the top of the ballot because something that the president comes up with can uh, affect you anyway. And that's why I keep banging on a down ballot strategy because I believe that that is the lot that is the kind of thinking that Yvette and Tone are trying to plant in their followers is, hey, you need your when you go in the booth, you need to be thinking about what affects you so that when, once people go behind that curtain, they can say they were going to leave the top of the ballot blank all they want. I promise you half of these people in the AOS suicide down ballot organization are still going to end up voting for Bernie Sanders once they get behind that curtain. I can promise you that. Because like I've told you guys back in 2012, I said I was voting third party for months before the election. And then when I got behind that ballot box, it was extremely tempting for me to vote for Obama simply because I didn't want to give the racist the joy or help contribute to giving racists the joy of seeing the black president only have one term. And again, I wasn't as conscious then as I am now, but please, ADOS trolls who are listening to this video, please don't try to jump on the fact that I voted for Obama in 2012 as some way to discredit me. Because I will point to uh, Yvette Carnell saying anti-racism is trash and fighting against racism is trash in 2016 in order to defend and support reparations aren't feasible colorblind Bernie in 2016. So please don't tell me about who I was supporting in 2012 as some kind of way to discredit me because don't let don't make me start digging in your your leaders past, especially Yvette Carnell and who she's been voting for. <coughs> And her Bernie supporting ass. All right. So please don't don't come over here talking about. Ooh, see you you voted for Obama in 2012. That shows you don't know what you're talking about. Because I will point out how your leader was voting for Bernie Sanders in 2016, which is more recently than 2012. For those of you who can't do math, when Bernie was saying reparations aren't feasible, and no. That's how he said it. He was aggressive in 2016. They asked him about reparations. Bernie was like, no. And guess who was his number one fan? Uh, Yvette Carnell. So please, please, just because I'm admitting to the fact that I was tempted to vote for Obama in 2012, please do not come up to me talking this bullshit about how that proves something about me. I've grown since then. But again, once I got behind that booth in 2012, I was extremely tempted to vote for Obama because I did not want to risk helping contribute to the fact that Obama didn't win re-election because I knew that would bring the racist in this country too much satisfaction to see the only black president we had be a one-term president. So I know the temptation. And with the line of thinking that the ADOS followers have been embedded with, they are going to get in that booth and they can talk about how they're not going to vote at the top of the ballot all they want. I promise you, 50% of them are going to vote for Bernie Sanders. Because they've already been taught, hey, I don't vote based on a black agenda. I vote based on what affects me. So Bernie's Medicare for all affects me. Bernie's student loan forgiveness affects me. I need to get him in office. Trump's evil policy affects me. So I need to get him out of office. And then next thing you know, we're just doing the same thing we've been doing all along, just voting based on our own personal perspectives and feelings and not about a black agenda and getting nowhere. Next thing you know, we're right back where we started with no focus on a black agenda. Because, hey, yeah, it's not a black agenda, but I need this student loans forgive, man. You know, hey, there's no black agenda, but, you know, my mom's sick and she really needs that Medicare for all. That's where it's going to go. So y'all can sit up here and swear up and down how you're not going to vote for the president, but you're going to vote down ballot based on what affects you. I promise you, once you get in that booth, the sheepdog operation will be successful. Which is why I am not voting, no matter what you de you Democrat shill, ADOS suicide down ballot members say. But anyway, fam. Let's go ahead and move on to some other tweets, because like I said, and again, this is going to be a very long video. Um, but anyway, again, somebody tell me, Sister I Am Friday Jones, please tell me what this too much in L.A. to vote for is. 
to not show up. Tell me what it is and tell me one of the things that have anything to do with a black agenda. But anyway, uh, let's go ahead and read some other stuff. So, um, and again, remember, fam, I said that this is going to be all over the place, so I'm going to be reading responses, random responses, but I just want to read different things to illustrate my point. So, this is another part, and again, these are kind of going to kind of be all over the place, so this isn't necessarily someone who was responding to a tweet that I read before. I'm just reading different random tweets that show the confusion confusion in the movement all right so a person named a wilcox and their handle was at a a annette bw so again a wilcox at a a annette or a annette bw is is the handle and this person says last new york ballot i had yes or no on increasing uh number of people on civilian police review board that's something worth showing up for that's what yt was referring to fam even though that's nice, that's still not a black agenda. Because guess what? What if you have a bunch of white supremacists on the civilian review board? That's not going to do nothing to help you. The cops are still going to get off. That's why you have to have a black agenda. Hell, we already had civilian review boards when the prosecutor puts together a grand jury. Even if the civilian review board finds the, the police officer unethical or whatever. Are they going to have the power to enforce it? You see, there's so much more than, oh, civilian review board. That's about police. So that personally affects me. It's a slippery slope. It has to have a black agenda or it's not worth voting for. And again, this is why I say you have to understand white supremacy. And this is why I say a vet and tone, even though their movement is all about white supremacy, because the ADOS movement was created around the fact that ADOS are on the bottom. And the reason why we are on the bottom is because of white supremacy. It's not because of immigrants. It's because of white supremacy. That's why we were on the bottom before 1960. It's about white supremacy. And if you understand white supremacy, you understand that you can't just have a civilian review board. You need a civilian review board that is going to enforce at that is going to be full of black people that are on code because you can even have a civilian review review board full of black people. But there are a bunch of coons. So you have to have things that enforce. Hey, when you commit these racial crimes, this is how we're going to enforce your punishment. But anyway, I digress, fam. Let's go ahead and move on to some other uh, tweets. Because I don't want to... Even though I've already warned this video is going to be long, I don't want to make it longer than it has to be, even though it's already going to be. So I'm not going to spend too much time on that tweet. Alright, so now this is a dude named uh, Chris ADOS Sacramento, uh, and his, his ad is at ADOS Politics AC, or SAC, ADOS Politics SAC, so that's that's his name, and he's, he's responding to me because I said, because he's saying to me, um, he's saying to me, I don't think she said, the, and he's talking about the I Am Friday Jones sister that I talked about at the beginning of the video. He, and that you see up on your screen as a screen cap. He says, I don't think she said to vote for anyone without a black ADOS agenda. So what are exactly are you responding to? But she did say that. She said there's too much to not vote for. What? What? What is any of it about a black agenda? She didn't say that. So he said, and I said, but she did say that. She said, there's too much to vote for. And I said, and this is me, so this guy, this is Chris ADOS Sacramento. He says, I don't think, he's talking about I am Friday Jones. I don't think she said to vote for anyone without a black agenda. So what exactly are you responding to? And I says, but she did say that. She said, there's too much to vote for. Like what? What black agenda candidates or ballot initiatives do you have to vote for? Why did a vet say Democrat down ballot if the strategy has nothing to do for with Dems? Why didn't she apologize for misspeaking? And then he says, uh, as a response, 
she didn't misspeak. The Republican Party is anti-reparations by nature. They want less government spending. We want children. Trillions. Combine this with answer one. Sir, I don't care about the Republicans being anti-spending. The Democrats are anti-spending on reparations. That's why uh, uh, Kamala Harris would rather drop out of the race than support a black agenda. That's why Cory Booker would rather drop out of the race than support a black agenda. That's why Bernie Sanders, he went from, I don't know what reparations is, to, oh, I support H.R. 40. Because none of them have an intent to support a black agenda. This is what I'm saying about the ADOS movement. They keep operating in this fantasy that somehow Democrats are our friends, are more pliable, are more open to us when they are not. They are simply not. They just fake pander to us. And yes, they they depend on our votes. And that's why we have to leverage our votes by not voting for them, not voting for them because they're somehow our friends and they're the only ones who are going to listen to us. No. So what are you talking about? And, And that's the thing. Why are you talking to me about a Republican and a Democrat? Neither side supports us. But guess what? Even as quote unquote anti spending as the Republicans are, they do come up with big government policies. They spend a lot of money on war. They spend a lot of money on infrastructure. They spend a lot of money on tax cuts. So they will spend money on things they believe in. And saying that somehow, oh, the Republicans just anti-spending, anti-spending. No, they're not. Hell, half the times Republicans run up the deficit more than Democrats do. Yet y'all sit up here and brag about how you have so much political education, yet you say stupid things like, oh, the Democrats are not our friends. I mean, the Republicans are not our friends. So, yeah, we didn't misspeak when we said Democrat because the Democrats are more open to us. This is bullshit, because if it was true, show me why hasn't one black agenda candidate from the national stage come forward yet? Why did Kamala Harris and Cory Cory Booker? Rather drop out the race rather than come with a black agenda. Why does Bernie Sanders go from no on reparations to I don't know reparations to H.R. 40? Where at the end of the day, no matter what his answer is, he's still avoiding a black agenda. Yet you want to tell me somehow the Democrats are our friends more when we've seen absolutely no evidence of this. Zero evidence of this claim. Yet somehow... Um, uh, Democrats are our friends, which is what this dude is saying. The Republican Party is anti-reparations by nature. They want government, they want less government spending. The Democrats are anti-reparations by nature, which is why we have to break them by not voting. Anyway, fam, um, let's continue. So, Now, this is a dude named Talk to MG who showed up on my channel. I mean, not up on my channel, but on Twitter. And again, like I said, I'm kind of all over the place. So these tweets are not back to back, but I'm just reading. it. So he says, you have to get a copy of your and this is uh, again, his name is Talk to MG. His handle was at MG underscore returns. So again, Talk to MG at MG underscore returns. He says, you have to get a copy of your ballot and research the impacts for your computer. For your community, including ballot initiatives. Them suck, yes. But vote for the sheriff, mayor, or DA that's best for you. Black folks better show up for that. This is what he says. Dude, what does this black mayor that's best for you have anything to do with a black agenda? In my city, the black mayors have been nothing but tools for gentrification. That's... (coughs) Oh, damn. Excuse me, I'm coughing. So excuse me for the call. Um, That's what I get. Are you telling me to go vote for the Republican instead? So what are you saying? Go vote for the DA that matters to you. That black folks better show up for that. That don't mean shit. You can vote for the DA all you want. You think that means he's not going to prosecute your ass when it's time? What you think this is? You're not white. This is what I'm saying about this movement. 
You have to get a copy of the ballot and research the impacts for your community, including ballot initiatives. No, I need to research the impacts for a black agenda, not the impacts for my community. That's a bunch of stupid shit. And none of this has anything to do with a black agenda. So, again, what happened to a vet saying all these other policies are nice, but you have to pay the descendants of slaves first? Apparently, you don't. Because you just got to vote for these other people who don't have a black agenda any damn way. And they're still going to operate in the interest of white supremacy, even though your stupid black ass voted for them. I could have I've I voted for mayors in the past. And you know what they did? They turned around and gentrified my city. After, and I was protesting and that I didn't vote for them in the, in the next election. But guess what? They still won and they're still gentrifying my city. So please tell me what this magical voting locally is going to do for you unless you're voting for people who have a black agenda. But none of these people have said, I am not voting unless I have a black agenda. They're all saying, no, you need to vote locally. No, you need to vote for your interests. No, I got too much to vote for in my city. Well, hell, then vote for Bernie because he has too much student loan forgiveness for you to not vote. He has too much Medicare for all for you to not vote. Come on, fam. This is a slippery slope. And yes, I'm a little upset, but I'm tired of going back and back over this same thing over and over and over. This is why I have such a huge problem with this suicide down ballot strategy. And you guys are going to notice a the theme. All of these people who are responding to me, almost none of them are talking about a black agenda. And again, you have to get a copy of your ballot and research the impacts for your community. Them suck, yes. But vote for the sheriff, mayor, or DA who's still going to throw your stupid ass in jail after you vote for them. Or still going to gentrify your city after you vote for them. Come on, fam. You know how many black people voted for the black mayor in my city and she still gentrified their asses? What are you talking about? Just voting for somebody does not get you um, policy from them. You have to demand that they are going to commit to an agenda for you before you vote for them. You better vote for your mayor so they can gentrify your dumb ass. And again, are you trying to tell me that the Republican is better? After y'all just told me that the Republicans aren't my friend? Because the Democrats have been gentrifying my city. So what are you trying to tell me here? Anyway, I digress. Let's move on to another tweet. Okay. And so now this is that MG dude again. And he's saying you can't change anything by sitting out. You primary them and run for open seats. Can't do that if people don't vote. This is defeatism masked as courage. Ignore those folks. And he's talking to somebody else. He's not talking to me, but I'm reading the tweet. And I asked him, I said, sir, who have you primary? You see what the ADOS movement, they keep what they keep doing is they keep talking about how they're doing politics because they're going to create their own party and they're going to primary these Democrats and they're going to run against these Democrats who don't have a black agenda and, and, and produce these ADOS candidates who do and primary the Democrats in the Democrat primaries and the local primaries for mayor and, and senator and city councilmen. And they're going to primary all these de- Democrats like the Tea Party did. And fam, don't get me wrong, that's beautiful. If the ADOS mo- movement was really primary Democrats and really putting their, their seats in jeopardy for not having a black agenda, I would be all for that. But they're not doing that. They're just talking. All they can do is show you meetings in somebody's uh, living room or some uh, empty basketball court, show a bunch of pictures with uh, people wearing ADOS t-shirts. We doing the work. But you ain't showing me nobody that's been primary. Has James Clyburn been primary? Has Maxine Waters been primary? Has um, Sheila Jackson Lee been primary? Has any of these people been par- prim- primary? Hmm? Any of these Congressional Coon Caucus members that have been sitting in office for 30 years while ADOS go downhill? Have any of them pr- been primary since y'all do so much work on the ground? Huh? So who have you primary? This is what I'm saying. It's fine to talk and and down the line. But until you get there, we're not voting. It's fine to have that goal of eventually replacing these people. 
But until you get there, we're not voting. You're sitting here defending voting right now by bringing up things that have not happened right now. You're talking about how you're going to primary somebody and that's why you're voting, yet you haven't primaried anybody. So how is that your reason for voting? You haven't removed anybody from office. You haven't forced anybody to come with a black agenda for fear of losing their spot. So again, this dude says, you can't change that by sitting at home. No, dude. And and you can't change it by just voting for these people after when they haven't been primary and they have no black agenda. You can't change that by voting for them without a black agenda either, fool. Do you think that you vote for somebody and that magically primaries them? No. That gets them in office. So what is he talking about? Oh, you got to vote because that gets you to prime. No, dude, you you doing it backwards. You hustling backwards. You have to primary somebody first. Once they're primary and they lose their primary, then you can vote for that person who you got primary in the general uh, election. You don't vote and then that leads to somebody getting primary. That's not how it works. You have to get the candidate that is going to primary the the, the non-black agenda candidate. Then you have to support that candidate so that they win. And that's how you get a black agenda in place. You don't vote for the candidate that doesn't have a black agenda and somehow that magically leads to them being primary. And if you don't vote for the person who doesn't have a black agenda, then there's no way to get them out of office. What, What are you talking about? Not voting for them is the way to get their ass out of office. Especially if they weren't primaried or they didn't lose in their primary. So this is fantasy talk. This is what the ADOS movement keeps doing. They keep talking about, oh, we're going to have a party and we're going to do this. and we gonna... But y'all ain't done that yet. So what are we going to do in the meantime? Just keep voting for the people who have done nothing but harm us? Anyway, fam, uh, let me continue because, like I said, I, I know, again, this video is going to be an hour plus. Um, so, then this dude says, uh, this is ADOSDMV, that's his handle, and his uh, Twitter, ADOSDMV. He says, car carrying indie, so I guess he's saying he's an independent. I think you may have missed some nuances. The Dems suck, yes. The GOP suck, yes. Both are racist, yes. Neither want to give ADOS folks policy, yes. Exactly. Neither want to give us policy, yes. Yes, blacks vote our Dem 90% rate, uh, less than 10% GOP. True, our leverage is with the Dems. Let's start there. Yes, by not voting for them. What are you saying? Let's start with the Dems by voting for them? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Let's start with the Dems by not voting for them. Yes, fool. Yes, we support Democrats at 90%. So, yes, let's break them. That's why none of us in the No Black Agenda, No Vote camp have have ever really proposed, oh, let's go be Republicans. We're saying don't vote because that's who we have leverage on. And our not voting is automatic damage to the Democrats because we do vote for them at such overwhelming rates. So this dude is talking about, let's start with the Dems. What are you talking about? We already are starting with the Dems by not voting unless you mean let's actually vote for the Dems as somehow that's going to bring leverage against them. It doesn't make sense. But anyway, fam, and again, this is a lot of ranting and I'm yelling, but like I said, fam, I'm tired. I, I just got off a work shift and I'm having to read this babble. And it's draining, but I really want to get this out so that it's it's all addressed, right? Um, so, let's see what else we got here. And I'm still looking for some other stuff. All right. So this is another one. This is from a person whose name is Twitwit. And then his 
handle is twit whiter so that's t-w-i-t w-i-t-e-r one two three and he says it's been repeatedly said vote for who you like down ballot i'm gonna i'm gonna re- reread that it's been repeatedly said vote for who you like down ballot this is what i'm talking about with the with the ados and there's nothing to do with a black agenda this is all about personal preferences and who you like who you have a, a crush on or some weird shit what are you talking about but anyway let me finish reading his tweet or her tweet because i don't know if this is a man or a woman um he says he or she says it's been repeatedly said vote for who you like down ballot politics is local you're not a voter are you otherwise you present an alternative instead of gaslighting the process your whole theory is flawed. Why should the same Dems you're talking about want us to demand an agenda? What are you talking about? What is this person talking Why would the Dems want us to demand an agenda? They don't want us to demand an agenda. But we're demanding it anyway. And then you're saying vote for who you like down ballot. What are you talking about? And again, what is the difference between leaving the top of the ballot, which is the least impactful vote blank, and leaving the rest of the bottom the bottom of the ballot blank? Oh, the local officials, the local issues affect you. So can the national issues. Medicare can affect you. Student loans can affect you. Housing, national housing, federal housing laws can affect you. What are you talking about? If we got reparations, that would come from the federal level. So what are you talking about? And again, if it's all about voting for who you like and what personally affects you, why not vote for the president and the policies that affect you from the presidency level? So what are this so much damn double talk coming from them? This is why their strategy makes no sense. Because they have to double talk and talk against themselves out of one side of their mouth. They have to seem fake like they're still on the black agenda train by talking about how they're not going to vote for the presidency and how they're going to write in ADOS. But on the other hand, they keep talking about how they're going to vote for what they like. So you're not writing in ADOS down the ballot. That's why so many of you have shown up on this. And this dude, this twit whiter dude has shown up saying I'm voting for what I like. And I have more evidence of other people talking about how they're going to vote on their local issues and what affects them in their community, which has nothing to do with a black agenda. So you're not writing in ADOS because you're voting for what affects you in your own community. And again, why write in ADOS if you have to vote for what affects you in your community? This is all to get you to go vote. Like you've always been voting and just fall right back in. Next thing you know, you're going to talk all this bullshit about a black agenda. But next thing you know, you're listening to an event and tone. And next thing you know, boom, your your ass is right back to voting the same way you voted for, for before based on what personally interested you. I didn't need a vet and tone to come around to know I, I can vote for who I like. Nobody needed the ADOS movement for that. If I was going to do that, I didn't need nobody to educate me on shit. I know how to choose what I like and what I don't like. So if this is all about what's my personal preference, then what the hell did we even do this movement for? It was all a waste of time. And I'm sorry, but that's what it feels like a Van Antone's movement was meant to do in the first place. Waste black people's time, get them all riled up about a black agenda, and then convince them, hey, I got the data. I know the education. So when I tell you, when I tell you vote down ballot, you need to listen to me because I'm so smart. And, and I'm telling you, go go right back to ignoring the black agenda and go vote down ballot. So anyway, like I said, this dude says, it's been repeatedly said, vote for who you like down ballot. Politics is local. You're not a voter. Otherwise, you present an alternative. Again, we have presented an alternative. Just because you don't agree with the alternative does not mean that it's not an alternative if that's the case then suicide down ballot is not an alternative because i don't agree with it it's not a strategy because i don't agree with it it's doing the same thing we've been doing minus the vote that half the time doesn't go to who you wanted it to go to any damn way so it's the same shit we've been doing for 50 goddamn years it's the same thing so if no, no black agenda no vote is not a strategy neither is suicide down ballot end of story you present an alternative we have an alternative you just don't agree with it and if that's the case hey you you none of y'all ados trolls have presented an alternative because suicide down ballot is not an alternative so you have not presented an alternative to not voting 
suicide down ballot is not an alternative because I say it's not an alternative. Just like you can arbitrarily say not, no black agenda, no vote is not an alternative to suicide down ballot. But anyway, let's continue, fam. Because I, I do want to hurry up and wrap this up. Hopefully I'm done pretty soon. All right. All right, now this is from a sister named Geisha Girl. That's G E I S H A G I R L two one one. Her title name is the Bow, the Black and Beautiful. And again, her handle was at Geisha Girl G E I S H A G I R L two one one. And she says, Yvette and Tone have repeatedly made it clear to vote your agenda. Vote your agenda, not Black agenda. Your agenda. Yvette and Tone have repeatedly made it clear to vote your agenda there are st- there are many who are still devout dems so she has said to vote for those people she has said to those people to vote for their local dems that have an agenda for their community start only stop only using part of what they've said it's disingenuous sister sister It doesn't matter that some people are devout Dems. That's a bad thing. Yes, we all black people pretty much are, quote unquote, devout Dems. That's why we're in the situation. And excuse me. <coughs> excuse me for the coughing, fam. I'm a little sick. But um, she says there are many who are still devout Dems. That's the problem. This is not an excuse or a defense because what she was doing was she was offering an excuse for why a vet said Democrat, if that's not what she meant. Because I've been asking, like I've been asking in previous videos, if that's not what she meant, why doesn't she apologize for causing that confusion? How can she not see how her words cause confusion? Why? Because when you when you don't apologize for the what you said before all your explanations after just look like cleanup excuses. And that's what they look like. Her ADOS, um, write in ADOS talk, that 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 sounds like a cleanup excuse. Because you didn't explain, you didn't say that the first time. You said Democrat the first time. And then after you got confronted, then you said write in ADOS. So that sounds like a cleanup excuse. And if it's not, you need to say, hey, you know what, I misspoke, my bad, I didn't mean to say it. But you didn't say that. You just said, oh, well, if if you're going to be like that, then just write an ADOS, but you need to show up because that's my goal. That's my sheepdog shield goal is to just get you in the polls because I know once I got you in the polls, you can do anything, no matter what we've talked about before the poll. Once I get you in there, I know I got a good chance of getting you to vote for Bernie. So I'm going to lie and say, oh, well, you ain't got to do it. Just go in there. It's, it's like a car salesman. Well, you ain't got to buy the car. Just take it for a drive. Because the salesman knows once I get you in the car, you're, you're sold. This That's the same kind of thing a uh, vet did. She said Democrat. And he said, well, I ain't with that shit. Well, okay. All right, fine. You, you ain't got to be a Democrat. You ain't got to buy a Democrat. Just take it for a test drive by going to the poll. Just stay engaged in the process. Just like a car says, well, you ain't got to buy the car. Just stay engaged in the process. Take it for a test drive. If this ain't the car for you, that's fine. Don't don't take it. Just like a vet. If that ain't the candidate for you, fine. Write an ADOS. Even though I find it hard to believe. Because she's saying she finds it hard to believe there's no green light uh gentrification democrat for you to vote for she finds it hard to believe there's not one green light gentrification democrat for you to vote for just like so you know i find it hard to believe it's not one car on this lot that's not for you but just stay engaged in the process take the cars for a test drive take the voting booth for a test drive don't not vote anyway um, so she says, Yvette and Tone have repeatedly made it clear to vote your agenda. There are many who are still devout Dems. That doesn't matter. I don't care how many black people were devout Dems. 
That is our problem. We should not be devout Dems. That's why we're in the situation where we needed a uh, ADOS movement to be created in the first place. That's why we have all these stats and data that Tony and Yvette use. That's why we're in the position for that data to be true any damn way. Because we are devout them. So none of this makes sense. That is the problem. So her saying, oh, well, most black people are devout dems. Well, they should not be. That is the fucking problem. They should not be devout dems. We should not be devout dems. So giving that as an excuse is makes no sense. Because that is exactly why we are in the position that we are in. Because we are devout dems. So saying here talking about, I'm talking about the, she talking about the 90% of black people who still vote Democrat. That's the fucking problem that they still vote Democrat. So adding on Democrat down ballot makes no sense. Because that is the problem. You're further encouraging people to commit suicide. If anything, because we naturally vote Democrat, you should be making it clear that we are not voting for Democrats at any cost unless they come with a black agenda. You should not be repeating Democrat down ballot, which will further mislead people into thinking that we should be voting for the Demo- for the damn Democrats. No. But anyway, fam, uh, and like I said, fam, this is going to be an extremely long video. Um, but hopefully I can wrap this up soon. Now, this is a sister named here, Indy. Indy still here. So I, I know this is like the Indy mama chick. She has like 800 different accounts. But she says, don't vote, don't complain. You literally don't matter to the process once you take choose to take yourself out of it. And I'm not even going to read my response. I'm going to read a brother's response that responded to her for me. Uh, give me one moment, fam. And I actually lost the tweet. One second. My bad, fam. And I'm almost done. I'm trying to wrap this up. But it's just so much. Like I said, this this is what I was explaining to you guys at the beginning of the video. This is why I make the constructive discourse videos. Because when you let people say what they want, they'll have you all over the place. And I don't have time for that. And I know y'all don't really on this channel either. So, again, let me go back to this this tweet. So, this sister says, again, her name is Indy still here. And her at is, is here, Indy. And I'm, I'm pretty sure it's the Indy mama chick. Um, but I, I may be wrong. So, if Indy still here is not the Indy mama chick, please correct me. But I believe it is. And she says, don't vote, don't complain. You literally don't matter to the political process once you choose to take yourself out of it. Fam, this is exact because, again, while Yvette was supporting Bernie Sanders, I was saying no black agenda, no vote in 2016. I'll repeat. While Yvette Carnell was supporting Bernie Sanders, reparations aren't feasible, Bernie Sanders, I was specifically not supporting Bernie Sanders because he said reparations aren't feasible. I want y'all to remember that. Now, the reason why I'm bringing that up is because that's this is exactly what was said to me in 2016. When I said I'm not voting for Hillary or Trump because I don't see a win there. I, I, it's white supremacy left and white supremacy right. You know what everybody said to me, whether they were black or non-black, who were trying to get me to vote, particularly for Hillary? You don't vote, don't complain. Don't vote, don't complain. If you don't vote, you can't complain. You If you don't vote, you can't complain. This is the same shit that was said to me in 2016. Now, ADOS people who are supposed to be just like me and all about a black agenda, all they're talking about is is the same shit that was said to me in 2016. You don't vote, you can't complain. What? Wait, but I thought y'all writing in ADOS. So if you write in ADOS, that's not voting for either side. So can you also not complain? Because you technically didn't vote. Voting for ADOS, writing in ADOS is not voting. Remember, that's allegedly the same thing that we're doing. And like I already explained, I think that's a, a cleanup explana- explanation. But let's pretend for just a moment it's not a cleanup explanation. And that the, the down ballot strategy was all about writing an ADOS all up and down the ballot. That's the same thing as staying at, as staying at home, except allegedly 
the people who count the votes will see all this ADOS written in, and that'll supposedly have more of an impact than staying home. Supposedly. Right? So if that's the case, how are y'all also saying to me, or members of your organization also saying to me, if you don't vote, you can't complain? Aren't y'all technically not voting either? Y'all just not voting in a more effective way by going and writing in ADOS if they don't have a black agenda? Isn't that what y'all said y'all are doing? Oh, no, wait, y'all said y'all are voting on who you like. This is what I'm talking about, the, the double talk and how they're all over the place. Because I've talked to so many different members of this organization and debated so many members, and they all have different excuses and different reasons. Some claim that, that the strategy is all about riding ADOS up and down the ballot. Some claim that it's all about voting for what you like locally. Some claim it's about supporting Bernie Sanders. I've had some people say that to me. So, so, so none of them, none of them are saying anything consistent. That's why all their excuses contradict each other. Yet me as a no black agenda, no vote person, I have a consistent theme. I'm not voting unless I get a black agenda. We don't have 6 million different excuses. We don't have to hop from I'm not voting because I don't have an agenda to I'm voting for ballot initiatives to I'm writing in ADOS to I don't have to hop hop between 6, six million different reasons. I can say one thing and stick to it. Y'all have to hop between you're voting for who you like, you're voting local, you're not voting at all, you're writing in ADOS. Y- y'all have to have 6 million different reasons of what you're doing. We don't. That's why I showed in previous videos how um, I would show what one ADOS member said and then another one would say, come up and show up and attack that other ADOS member saying, oh, that person don't know what they're talking about. They're confused. None of y'all know what y'all are talking about. All of y'all are confused. That's why none of y'all have a consistent answer to your strategy. But anyway, again, fam, um, I, I, I got I'm going off on side rant. So this is all just kind of a big ass rant essay, um, as y'all can see. But anyway, let's kind of get back to the to the meat of the video. Don't vote. Don't complain. You literally don't matter to the political process once you choose to take yourself out of it. And I'm going to read a brother because, like I said, I don't have to respond. He said it better than me. Uh, his name is Rebel Yelling 65. And he says. What's it what what's it is it called when you do vote and you still get screwed even when your party wins federal, state, and local? Some would label it insanity, but hey, hey, he said it better than me. So you say, oh, if you don't vote, you can't complain. So what if I do vote and I still get bullshit, which is what black people have been getting for 50 years? We vote for these people, we support these people at overwhelming rates, and they still neglect us. Because we don't demand an agenda. So these these people are saying, oh, you, you they, they keep acting like voting is somehow your way of getting power. No, it's not because we've been voting. You have to first demand the agenda in exchange for your vote. Your vote itself is the leverage. Not using it is let using it is not the leverage. Choosing who you use it on and whether you use it at all is the leverage. These people are acting like just because you voted, that all of a sudden somehow gives you a stake in what the politician does. And it does not. It does not. Because if it did, black people who overwhelmingly voted for Obama would have had a stake in the decisions. And he would have considered us more when he made his decisions and when he made his policies. But he didn't. You know why? Because just voting for somebody is not enough. You have to get them to commit to your agenda before you vote for them. That way they have fear that if they do not commit, they will lose. Or if they go back on their word, they'll lose their re-election. But if you don't get them to commit to shit, they're never going to commit to you and they're never going to do what you want, no matter how much you engage in the process and vote. It doesn't matter how much you engage in the process if you don't get the black agenda promised to you first. And that's why I didn't have to respond. I just let him respond again. He says to her, what is it called when you do vote and you still get screwed since you don't vote and you can't complain? What happens when you do vote and you still get screwed?
All right, fam. So now this is a dude named Michael R. Hicks, and he's and his is at M R Hick zero one. And he says, and excuse me, fam. And he says the act of refusing to vote at all, and the only follow up is talking about how you refuse to vote in echo chambers where you and yours reside, does not an effective strategy make. Doing what you do the way you do it is a tree falling in the forest with no one to hear it. And guess what? The act of voting Democrat down ballot, and only listening, and and the only follow up is talking about how you voted down ballot. In echo chambers where you and yours reside, does not an effective strategy make. Doing what you do, which is voting the way we have been, is the equivalent of a tree falling in the forest with no one to hear it. Because you're doing the same shit we've been doing. Voting for someone without demanding their agenda. Did Obama hear us when we voted for him? Since since voting it gives you so much power and so much voice in the system, right? Since voting gives you so much voice in the system, how come all of our votes for Obama didn't give us a, a, a whole bunch of voice with him? Hmm? I mean, because y'all are telling me, hey, hey, you got to vote and that's what gives you all the power. And if you if you don't stay engaged in the system and you don't vote, you ain't going to have no power. So so when black people engage in the system in record numbers for Obama, what that what that get us? Huh? I, I just need to know because I, I need help understanding. Hmm? Hmm? When black people voted for um, the black players in my city who gentrified the city, uh, what 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 did that get us, huh? Since, because remember, hey, not voting is like is like you, you, the tree falling in the forest and nobody can hear it. So so voting it, it, the alternative voting that that's being heard, right? That's being heard. So when majority black people in my city voted for a black mayor and she gentrified the city. And he gentrifies the city. Is that not. It was our vote not like a tree falling in the forest. Because he didn't hear us. He didn't give a shit about us. He, he just gentrified everybody. After they voted for him. And moved a bunch of white people in. And now that now they're voting for him. So he can be reelected. So now the same black people who voted him in. Aren't even eligible to vote for him in reelection. Because they live 60 miles from where they used to live. Because he gentrified them out of the city. So, how is voting without a black agenda not like a tree falling in the forest with no one to hear it? This is the double talk that we get from the suicide down ballot movement. But anyway, fam, let's continue. Let's continue because I really want to be done. I'm as tired as y'all are. Trust me. So now this is the same dude, Mr. Hicks, and this is where he really exposed himself. He says, no, black folk didn't. You are completely understanding what vote down ballot. Because I told him we've been voting down ballot. And he says, no, black people didn't vote down ballot. You are completely misunderstanding what vote down ballot means. In 2008 and 2012, black folk ADOS overwhelmingly turned out to and voted for Barack Obama. That is not down ballot voting. So, sir. You're you are you really sitting up here and trying to brag that down ballot voting is leaving off the least impactful vote that depending on the state you live, your vote won't even go to who you wanted to win anyway. So you might as well leave it blank. That's not impactful. That's not revolutionary, because even if you did vote in that spot, your vote still might not count. So that is the least impactful vote to leave blank. This is what I'm talking about. So let me read this again to show what's coming from this movement. No, black folk getting you didn't. You are completely misunderstanding what vote down ballot means. In 2008 and 2012, black folk ADOS overwhelmingly voted out, uh, turned out to vote and voted for Barack Obama. That is not down ballot voting. So now he thinks he's clarifying. Oh, don't you put that on us. We don't see uh, what we do is we leave the presidency blank. So don't don't talk about how we used to down ballot vote because that's not down ballot voting is a revolutionary strategy. See, let me break it down for you, brother. See, that's what he thought he was doing. But no, 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 dude, no. 
the presidential vote is the least impactful vote. If you are going to withhold your vote for leverage purposes, which is allegedly what you're doing by not voting for the top of the ballot. Otherwise, why aren't you voting? That's why I asked that question at the beginning of the video. Otherwise, why aren't you voting for the top of the ballot? So if you are going to use not leverage, not voting as leverage, which is what you're trying to do at the top of the ballot, why wouldn't you do it where your vote actually affects the candidate instead of doing it in a place where your vote is least likely to impact the presidency? Why wouldn't you do it in the place where you know your vote is going towards that person, which is down the ballot? This is what I'm talking about with the ADOS suicide down ballot movement. This is what I'm talking about, fam. And this is why I have such a huge problem with their movement. And again, one last thing, because one one last dude I'm going to talk to is this uh, brother named Black Seed American One. Um, it, he showed up on my channel, our Black Seed American DOS. And he says, um, OK, the other reason is more simplistic. And, you know, this Bitney Pooh at still said it. I don't know what that means. And he says, there are no friends in politics whatsoever, especially for black Americans. I care about interest and whether it comes through them or Repub, it makes no difference for me. Will Repub's deal? I don't know why he's asking me will Repub's deal. Again, fam, I've already said this. I don't give a damn about whether it's Democrat or Republican. This fantasy of how somehow Democrats are our friends, it's a fantasy. That's why we get green light laws for immigration and gentrification at the local level. That's all we get at the local level is gentrification and green light laws. I'm probably going to one of my next videos is going to be breaking down how dangerous it is to vote for local Democrats. I'm probably going to have to do another video breaking that down, how dangerous it is to be voting for local Democrats and how much uh, reckless anti-black laws local Democrats bring to the table. Because remember, this these ADOS and, and again, it's going to be the Democrats, because remember, these ADOS um, trolls. They keep talking about how the Republicans are so bad, and that's why they that's why they said Democrat, because the Republicans are anti-spending and they ain't going to help us. So we meant what we said when we said Democrat down ballot, because the Republicans ain't, ain't receptive to our agenda. So what are we going to do in the meantime? Vote for local Democrats, who I can show you have done more damn near more damage to ADOS than Republicans? Huh? So, so that's what we're going to do. Oh, yeah, that, that makes sense, right? Please, fam, let's listen. This is why I said if you come to me talking about Democrats are worse than Republicans. I'm going to consider that suicide talk. They are the same. Democrats and Republicans are the same. I don't do suicide talk where I consider one side of white supremacy more friendly than the other side. No. So please stop talking to me about who's worse and who's better, right? And then he says to me, and then he starts talking to me about a solution. Listen, fam, y'all don't have a solution because if y'all had a solution, the problem would be solved and the, and the reparations check would, would be issued. So this black seed American dude, he's talking to me about solutions. Listen, fam, y'all y'all going to have to stop talking to me about these dumbass solution shit because you don't have a solution. And if you're telling me that you have a solution just because you're saying that no black agenda, no vote is not a solution. Well, guess what? I'm saying that no that suicide down ballot is not a solution. That's not a solution. If you can arbitrarily declare that no black agenda, no vote is not a solution. Then I arbitrarily declare that down ballot is not a solution. It is not a solution. So why does the ADOS have a political solution? ADOS does not have a political solution. They have no solutions and no answers. So please stop talking to me about no damn solution because nothing has been solved yet. 
we're talking about strategies. And again, if you want to dismiss what I'm saying as not being a strategy, then I'm dismissing what you're saying because all you want us to do is do what we've been doing minus the least impactful vote that wasn't going towards the person we wanted it to go to half the damn time anyway. When my parents voted for damn Al Gore, guess what? Their vote went towards Bush anyway. So my parents voted for down ballot before Yvette even thought about down ballot. My parents were the original Democrat down ballot voters because they voted for Al Gore and their vote went towards George Bush because they lived in a red state. So my parents are the original down ballot voters way before Yvette ever thought about down ballot. And what that get them, huh? But anyway, fam, um, this video is way longer than any other video I've made in a while. Um, so I am going to go ahead and wrap this up. Hopefully y'all had the patience to listen. Um, it was a lot of ranting. That's probably going to be the title of this video, an epic rant about suicide down ballot um, and responding to Twitter or something like that. It's going to be something along those lines, but I know it was a long video. Break it up into two or three parts if you need to, but listen to the whole thing. Excuse the passion in my voice, but I get tired of the energy I have to put in responding to the same things over and over and breaking down the same things over and over. So um, hopefully or not hopefully I, I'm still going to have to make a few more videos. They're going to be a lot, lot shorter than this one is, but I'm still going to have to upload like one or two more videos. I'm talking about this, but we're coming to the end, fam, because at this point, I'm ready to just sit back and watch Yvette Antone just tell their followers to straight up vote Democrat all the way and go full Democrat. I, I'm, I'm waiting for that because I know I know that it's coming. I know that it's coming. I know that the focus on the black agenda is going to become less and less and less. And I'm just waiting for that to happen. Plus, anyway, fam, we can't keep talking about these people. We have to move on to other topics. We still live in a system of white supremacy. So we can't spend 24-7 warring with ADOS. We have to get focused back on the system of white supremacy because it never stops. Um, I just, I'm just i just focusing on this, black, on this down ballot stuff um, while I am because this is going to do, this is going to, following this strategy is going to set us back in our fight against white supremacy. So that's why I'm spending so much energy fighting it. But at the same time, at some point it does have to come to an end. So I am... Uh, you know, we're, we're getting in the last days of talking about down ballot, even though there are still going to be a few more videos. Um, there's not going to be many more. So we're getting in the last days of talking about down ballot and we're getting in the last days of talking about a vet and tone. Again, there's still going to be a, mu a few more videos about a vet tone and their movement and their suicide down ballot strategy. Um, but we're getting into the last few um, and we're going to start focusing on just general white supremacy uh, again so anyway fam i appreciate y'all's patience like share subscribe and that's another video peace